welcome back. So for this video, we are creating this extruded piece. We're going to start off with a simple drawing, and then we'll extrude that drawing to create this three-dimensional object. This is how our final product will look like. Step one, we're just making sure that our workspace units are in millimeters and that we're sketching on the top plane. So let's click here, workspace units, and we are set to millimeters, we're good. Now sketch, select the top view. Let's reorient our view. So we're creating six circles and four lines in a rectangle. Let's start off with a rectangle. It's the center point rectangle. We're going right at the center. The dimensions do not matter right now. Let's just try to make it as close to what it looks like in this uh, image. The construction line, right at the origin. We have two circles, one circle inside the rectangle. Another circle outside the rectangle. Two circles on the left, two circles on the right. So I'm going to place it right here. And then I'll place another circle within that. Here's another circle over here. Oops, I don't want to add that relationship there. Created this tangent relationship, so I'm going to hit delete to erase that. Now let's add these four lines. So I have one line up here, another line down here, line number three, line down here. Just make sure that you have a coincidental relationship between the lines and the circles. So notice coincidental, coincidental, there's no other relationship, just that. This one has a tangent. Let's go ahead and delete that and we'll fix it later. All right, so we have our six circles, our rectangle, and four lines. For step three, we're just making sure that circles A are set equal to each other and circles B are set equal to each other. So let's click on that and hit the letter E. Let's do the same for the smaller circles. All right. And we're also adding tangent relationships for the four lines and the two circles that are connected to each line. So let's hit that letter T. Let's do it again. So notice we're still in the tangent setting and we're making each circle tangent to the line that's connected to it. And notice how these relationships are popping up right here. Our last line and our last connection. Now for step four, we're going to make everything symmetrical about the center line. So let's click on symmetry. We want to select these two points here and then our construction line. And everything is now centered about the construction line. For step five, we're adding these dimensions. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimensions. So let's start off with this circle here, the outer circle, which has a value of 35. This little circle over here on the left has a value of 20. Our middle circle on the outer side our outer middle circle will have a value of 70. Our inner middle circle will have a value of 45. Out of our box is 10. The width of our box is 45. And uh, this inner circle actually has a value of 35. Now for our last dimension, we're adding this value of 250 for the edges of the outer circle. So let's go ahead and click on the outer ring, this outer ring here. We'll have a value of 250. Just double check our dimensions. We have 70, 35, 10, 70, 35, 10, 45, 250, 20, and 35. We're good to go. For step six, we're extruding our first section. So let's switch up the view. Let's click this check mark here, hit extrude. And now we're selecting this portion, that outer portion, and this spot here. All right. So we have solid new, solid new, blind. And then we're going to add a value of 40 millimeters. 
go ahead and hit the check mark. Step seven, we're extruding the other section of the drawing. So I hit extrude. Let's make sure we can view our sketch number one. We're selecting this portion and then this portion of the ring. All right, so now we do want to have this as add, blind, and with the value of 25. And notice we're merging our new extrusion with the existing part. For step eight, we're just renaming part one to read bracket. Step nine, we're assigning a material, steel 1020. Right click on bracket, assign material. We can write out steel 1020. So at this point, we just need to check our work. So let's go ahead and click on mass properties. So select this icon here, make sure you click on bracket, and then you should have the correct value for your mass. So you're going to be using this mass for the self-check. Make sure you see if you created this object correctly. Thank you for watching. Watch the next video. Thanks.